Sea Match Fishing is back. <laughs> First match since lockdown. We're out again. We've got the Southern League and Opens coming up over Bournemouth Way, Southbourne to be exact, on Saturday. It's Tuesday evening, beautiful day. We are at uh, Lansing, outside Lansing Sailing Club. Colin Carey's put on a little last minute evening match. So why not? I think there's about 20 of us here. Quite a few people, some very good anglers, very good anglers. So it's going to be um, tricky to do well, but I'm just treating it as a bit of a little fishing trip, really. Um, I think it's gonna be hounds. It looks quite houndy to me. I know there's been reports of hounds and rays all up here the last couple of nights, but it's a worm only match. So two hooks, worm only. So I'm using king rags uh, on a kind of two up rig at the moment. And we're gonna try and pull up a hound on, on King Rag, which is sort of, you don't normally target hounds with King Rags, do you? So it's gonna be interesting. We've already cast out, so I've got to keep an eye out. Um, but we have, see, when I knew there was gonna be a match here a week ago, I thought very small, you'd need sort of little maddies, uh, little hooks, you know, for the sort of golden mullet and other little bits and bobs. But yeah, there's been a lot of hounds around, so. It's going to be an interesting match. We've got uh, Mark Sumner next to me. We've got Paul Stevens. We know Paul Stevens from the Southern League. Very good angler, very good. He's two pegs down, so we're keeping an eye on him. We've got um, Colin Carey, obviously, has organised the match. He's here. We know how good Colin is, if you follow my videos. One of the top, one of the top uh, sea match anglers in the country, in my opinion. We've got uh, Tony... Uh, who won the Irish Pairs, I believe, last year, which is uh, probably one of the hardest things to win. Uh, it's weird. I don't do many local matches, if any, really. I've done a few flounder matches at the start of the year. I only live a few miles down the road. I've never even fished this beach because I normally go to Wildwater a bit further down. So I'm going to be kind of learning about my local area. This is where I, sh I should have started doing all the, the local matches, but I sort of went in for the, the big stuff, <laughs> which has accelerated my learning hugely. But of course, it's um, it wasn't really the way to start. But... We're warming up for Saturday. We're we'll trying to get a couple of fish out. We've got Joe Plumstead over to my left-hand side. Um, let's go and have a chat with him because he's a, a top local match angler. He's, uh, I think he lives over at Eastbourne Way, just a lot of the Eastbourne matches. And he's been, oh, I've been watching. He's been doing this back cast. Never seen anything like it. The power, it's just, it's, it's an art form within itself. But let's go and see Joe and see what he's up to. What are we reckoning in today then? What are the uh, predictions? I think there'd be, some smaller fish in, in close, uh, a few flatfish, maybe a few bream, little bass, but there could be chance of a smooth hound or a undulate ray. Yeah, I reckon when there the might goes. be some hounds around. Yeah, well that's, I'll be honest with you, that's, you know, ice is going to allow for two different things, either fish short range, and then if you see a hound come out, maybe a little bit further out, but yeah. I haven't fished this bit of beach, so I don't. I, I only live two miles down the road and I've never fished this bit of beach. I drive past yeah. it and go to Widewater or go to the other side of Worthing, so yeah, we have That's to see. A, yeah, nice bit of beach. I think I spoke to one of the local boys and they said it's just flat sand all the way through. Same as the burrow, same as yeah. wide water. So yeah, it's a... We'll have to see, Joe. Yeah. Any action over here, Mark? Absolutely none, Jimmy. Nothing at all? Hooks are getting stripped. Lots of stringy green weed. <laughs> no fear. <laughs> well, I reckon when I get a start with them, I'm going to get a few hounds. Well, fingers crossed. Where's all the fish, Paul? Yeah. No? <laughs> Nothing going on? I think they're waiting for darkness. Yeah. Here he is, look. <laughs> He's had a ray? One of the major anglers there just had a ray up there.
What's happening over here, Joe? Oh, not here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> With a pleasure angler down there has had a ray, but he'd be on fish baits, I expect, wouldn't he? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Colin's been getting a lot of bites and he's had a few plays and bits and bobs. But he? Apparently he's fishing on a groin. He's fishing right at the end of the groin. Oh, so okay. Something's happening. So a bit feature, a bit we're a bit featureless. We're a bit featureless. We're a bit um open here yeah. you might have to wait for darkness joe i think you're right i think i think yeah let him carry on with the small place and um yeah put the nuts in one basket wait for the darkness i mean mark next to me on uh reds fishing real close in oh, so i know yeah, that's yeah. not working i've just tried one close in so i went down to size fours but yeah 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 it's not really happening so <laughs> i watched them all along so i think eddie was in in the edge around the corner. yeah i think Pull throughout a little bit further that chuck yeah so you just got to use him as a guide really see what i happens. like all fishing with paul because he's good any paul and oh, yeah. it, and you can have a look if he starts catching you can kind of work out what he's doing yeah, 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 like yeah, yourself yeah. if i see you catching something and then you can you, that's what you have to do yeah, isn't it versa, if, if the boys are chucking they're all doing the same thing they're all going 30 yards yeah well i think there's no point in me doing that no so chuck it out and if they something in the edge i can easily just unclip it and chuck it yeah or put a flapping trace on and fish in the edge oh no we've got some padless in front of us now look i haven't seen them on the size to weight chart oh, mighty place. oh, oh it's a 20, 20 centimeters well done mate all right my old darling 60 just 60 there we go yeah, mate yeah lovely Bless her. There we go. Joe's prize catch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Where's the rods? Hello, mate. I'm all right. Are you well? Yeah, very good. Thanks, Joe. Face 21. Yeah. Just, I think. Come here, you. Oh, it's lovely warm, isn't it? What's up? 28, 29, but, oh, what is it? No, 34. Three, I reckon. No, it's not, so, it's no, no. no. Oh, 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 oh. Here's that top fin will go 33. Always oh, one's longer than the other. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hound, I reckon. Yeah. 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 Come on then. We were blanking and we got one. Smooth van, I don't know, it's about 75, I would say. But we got one. So you yeah. to run anywhere with it? Oh, 83. 83. 83. Back she goes. Oh, nice and quickly. That's a 30, proper sole, mate. 36. 36, that's the biggest sole that I've never caught a sole that big, actually. Welcome, sight. Bless him. Bless her, even. Bit of a species hunt. We are, aren't we? <laughs> Mark and his sole. There we go. I think 28, is he? 27, he is. 27? Yeah, you got it, mate. Yeah. It's all kicking off. So it is 9.41. We're fishing from 7 to 11 tonight. Um, just as it started getting dark, fish coming up everywhere. I have the hound and uh, a little fallback, I think it was. Joe's just caught um, I think a massive soul next door. Mark's got. Uh, and it was just fish started coming up, so I've got to be quick now. We could do If we get another hound or two, we're still in it. And you've got to be in it to win it. Um, but just sort of half hour before it got dark, it was very quiet and um, I was over talking to Joe over there. Just sort of led on the beach, just chilling out. I saw Darren Bond, he's popped down, said hello to him. Uh, he gave me a little tip out, see with the, with the ragworm, you know. And don't If you're fishing for smooth hounds, don't have too much of the tail off. And i done that and next cast, we had a hound on. So, uh, yeah, you meet these people and you ask them one question and you've learned a little bit more and that's what it's all about um but yeah and then after that i was sort of led over there with joe and i was just led on the floor and uh chilling out and having a chat and i said oh god we better uh, get on with fishing at it we and i said to joe this is the cast the cast out bang 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 and i'm pulling it in and joe's shouting 
Well, you know, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, really good. I'm, Joe's a brilliant bloke next door. Really, really glad I, I was pegged next to him, actually. We've had a, a lovely chat. We've got Mark next door the other side. We've had a chat with him. It's a really fun match. Really fun. I'm glad I got a fish. I must because I was blanking. Um, but we've got about an hour and 20 minutes left. Really, really good evening out so far. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, it obviously, it's my first match since the end of March, since before lockdown. Um, but it's not just about the, well, it is about the fishing. Of course, we, I want to win as much as anyone, and I take it very seriously. But uh, you've got to come out, and you've got to enjoy it, and you've got to have a good time. I think some of them Southern League ones at the start of this year, I, was, I wasn't I was doing as well as I would expected after the, the good run I had last year. And you start putting a lot of pressure on yourself, and you're trying too hard, probably over trying, I would say. And you've got to enjoy it. You've got to enjoy it. Um, but let's get another hound, shall we? Uh, oh, the hound was, it was bigger than my four. I think it was like 83 or something like that. I've got to work out the points, but uh, yeah. There we go, it's quieting down for about a half hour. Lovely bream. Uh, what was it, 26? Beautiful colors, look at it. I always think they look like something sort of tropical. But there we go, another fish on the card. We're doing all right, about half hour left. Let's chuck him back safe and sound. When's the next one? Well, a week possibly, so the weather's like. <laughs> Cheers, Carl. Yes, cheeky little second place. Very happy with that because it was a very competitive field. Very, very competitive. So the smooth hound saved me. I needed a bit of luck after some of my match fishing this year. We've got round four of the Southern League and Opens in four days' time. That will be the next video up. Well done to Tom Ryder for winning that match. Tom is currently ranked third in the world in the, I think it's the under 16s. He's moved up an age group now. Uh, he was meant to be in the England team this year. Of course, most of it's been cancelled, I think, due to that uh, COVID-19. But um, well done, Tom. He had a smooth round, a bit bigger than mine. He had a few other species as well. So very well deserved. Joe came third. I was second. And... Um, Yes, I needed that result. I needed a bit of luck. Come and follow, like, and subscribe because the next video up will be round four of the Seven League and Opens. It's back after a couple of months. Fingers crossed, gang. Fingers crossed.